Hello, my name's Owen Gwynedd. I'm a presenter and a reporter, and over the past couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to work on a variety of programmes, most recently here on the magazine programmes Prynhawn Da and Heno, and also on various sport programmes, from S4C's broadcast of the Rugby World Cup to BT Sports Champions Cup highlights programme. So here's a quick taste of what I've been up to. Lawrence Delalio, many will know you as a World Cup winner back in 2003, but you're a World Cup winner a decade earlier. What's the story there? You're doing good, I'm doing great. Following a month of international rugby, there's no distractions in the Pro 14 this week as we return to Scotston for the second consecutive week for the replay, the rematch of last season's Pro 14 semi final. And you can see it all live here on Premier Sports 1. The Anglo Welsh Cup is well known for being a playground for the development of the next generation of internationals. Welcome back for the second week on the bounce. A victorious coach once again. Was this week even more impressive than last week? Oh, definitely, because uh, the quality of the opposition. Glasgow provided the result of round three. According to Gregor Townsend, winning in Paris comes only second in his five-year tenure as Warriors head coach to beating Munster in the Pro 12 final in 2015. Yeah, next door in the Cardiff Arms Park, sunny but blustery, and uh, the Dragon Boys are outside warming up. Hibs, how's it going? I've um, got to ask you, kind of, lots to play for still for the boys. It's been an up and down season, so how the Dragons been approaching this one? Well, we've been uh, approaching like we approach every game. It's, it's been a very tough season. Right? Rich McCaw, world champion 2015. How does that sound? Pretty damn good. Dan, yeah, he's, he's saturated in champagne in the middle of celebrations. How special a moment is this for you? Uh, it's a, such a huge, uh, you know, huge moment in my life and career. You're probably the elder statesman in this side. How is it kind of shepherding and being the experienced one on the field and, and nurturing that new talent around you? Yeah, Glyn Epoe, Damien Hood, and Cody Tlus, Eurgengreid, Principality, Cymru, and Matro Cinta, and Ehanes. And Macado Gaval, Ara Tlus, and Provi, and Anna Vialm. John Joe, we can start with yesterday, a score to score away to Sunderland. A good point considering you were down to 10 now. Doddy, who are you tipping for the 1872 Cup? Oh, well, there's <laughs> no safety for fans. There's no safety for fans. Well, I'll tell you, what an exciting game it's been tonight. There is no doubt about <laughs> it. The rugby public, and if Glasgow play the way they play tonight, they've got to go in as favourites, I'm afraid. Chris and all the people who are to all of me to do what I would have done all the time. I'm Harris, it's all a couple of years. You hold him. Well, I think Gary, Match of Days celebrated its 50th birthday this year. What makes Match of Days so special? Well, I think it's, it's a variety of different things. Johnny Peacock, world champion, Olympic champion, now European champion. <laughs> you must be happy. I can't complain. Manon, we'll have to talk about the events of the last few weeks, you becoming world champion. Have you come back down to earth yet? Just about. It has been a pretty crazy year. Uh, it's a huge occasion for them. Uh, and it's a huge, huge occasion for the fans. Well, this should hit bad. Go well today. All the best. Hello. Good luck.